streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. It is Tuesday, March 19th. Checking in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl. Um, Bill, the calendar may say first day of spring, um, but your forecast is definitely not reflecting that, is it? It's really not. I mean, it's going to be briefly warmer today with highs in the low 50s, kind of windy though, and that's going to make it feel a bit cooler. But boy, starting tonight and into tomorrow and the next eight days, it's looking a lot more like winter than spring. You'll see that as I share that eight day forecast over the next uh, half hour or so. But yesterday's highs, yeah, they were chilly, weren't they? Mid to upper 30s, much like we saw on Sunday. 37 was the high in Eau Claire, Black River Falls, Winona and Sparta, 39 in the Cross and 38 in Prairie du only 34 in Viroqua. Uh, skies uh, kind of partly cloudy this morning. We've got a batch of clouds moving through. Uh, had some snow flurries yesterday, so a trace of snow. 47 and 27 are the averages, 76 and 12 below the records for today. Sunrise time this morning at 7.09. So just some passing clouds this morning. We'll see some sun mixed in uh, through the day as well, but uh, any snow shower or flurry activity well to our east this morning. Current temperatures, yeah, they're chilly between about 30 and 36 degrees, and we will see highs today in the lower 50s in the lacrosse area right around 52 but those winds becoming northwesterly 10 to 20 gusting to 35 again astronomical spring officially arrives at 10 06 this evening it's going to feel more like winter over the next eight days and i'll have the details coming up all right bill we will see you then for those details i'm not sure we want to hear thank you time now for the head stories making headlines right now starting with a school closure to let you know about pleasant ridge waldorf school in Viroqua set to close today after what the school calls a loss in the school community the closure includes parent child classes but the school says eighth grade project presentations will continue as scheduled and now turning to a few things happening today, parts of Wisconsin Highway 35 and the Mississippi River will be closed this morning while crews demolish part of the decommissioned Genoa coal plant. Staff from Dairyland Power Cooperative say they expect the highway to be shut down about 10 o'clock this morning. They also expect the road closure should last 30 minutes or less. Parts of the Mississippi River will also be closed while crews demolish parts of the site. Today's scheduled demolition comes over three years after the coal fired power plant was retired and decommissioned after providing power to the Cooley region for 52 years. The man accused of murdering Madeline Kingsbury set to be back in court today. 30-year-old Adam Fravel will appear in Winona County Court for a two-day hearing. He's currently fighting to move his trial out of the county. His attorneys arguing heavy media coverage of the case will prevent him from getting a fair trial there. He faces two counts of first-degree homicide for the death of Kingsbury, his ex-girlfriend. The 26-year-old went missing last March after dropping the kids she shared with Fravel off at daycare. Her body was found a little over two months later near the town of Mabel, south of Winona. Although many states are enacting bans and restrictions on abortion, two new reports are suggesting the increased focus of the issue may be helping fuel an increase of the procedure. One report from a sexual and reproductive rights think tank shows more than a million abortions were performed last year, the highest rate in over a decade. The Guttmacher Institute attributing the jump to efforts to increase access and that medication accounted for almost two thirds of abortions last year. In some states, the pills are available by mail without visiting a clinic. The reports come as several physicians are suing the FDA over the abortion drug Mifepristone, alleging the agency ignored safeguards when making it easier to get. That case is pending in the Supreme Court. Speaking of the Supreme Court, they are once again issuing a temporary pause on a Texas immigration law. SB 4 would give local authorities the power to arrest migrants suspected of crossing the border illegally. The order came just minutes after the high court's self-imposed deadline Monday, creating a moment of confusion over the law's status. CBS News' Jared Hill explains from New York. Texas's sweeping immigration law on hold yet again by the high court. Justice Samuel Alito indefinitely extended the pause on Texas law SB4. It would let state and local law enforcement stop, jail, and prosecute migrants accused of entering the U.S. illegally. State judges would also be able to order migrants back across the southern border. The Department of Justice argues it's unconstitutional, overstepping federal immigration law. 
Texas very simply is enforcing the laws uh, that are, are the policy of the United States Congress. Texas Governor Greg Abbott defended SB4 in a recent interview with CBS 60 Minutes. And as governor of the state of Texas, I have uh, the authority to control ingress and egress. Uh, to any land in the state of Texas. Last night, he posted on social media that despite the Supreme Court's action, quote, Texas is still using its authority to arrest illegal immigrants for criminal trespass and other violations of law. As the legal battle over SB4 continues in the courts, some local law enforcement officials, like Webb County Sheriff Martin Guayar, are concerned they're not equipped to carry out the law. We're not immigration officers, and we have to get trained to make sure that we are following the rule of the law. CBS News has reached out to several Texas law enforcement agencies who said they're hoping to get state guidance and training in the event that the law is allowed to take effect. U.S. Border Patrol reports a record high 2.4 million southern border encounters last fiscal year. Immigration and the border crisis also a huge political issue this presidential election year. A CBS News poll released earlier this month shows nearly half of Americans believe the situation at the border is a crisis, while another 30 percent say it's very serious. A lacrosse man accused of stabbing a man to death is back in court. 50-year-old Bryant Smith charged with first-degree intentional homicide. According to the criminal complaint, Smith called 911 and admitted to stabbing Timothy Salas when he was, quote, blackout drunk. At his preliminary hearing yesterday, two officers testified, one of them saying the autopsy shows Salas was stabbed 44 times. The court commissioner presiding over the hearing found probable cause that a felony was committed, so Smith's case will proceed. Smith is currently in custody on a $500,000 cash bond. The city of La Crosse is joining the list of municipalities under burn bans. According to a release by the La Crosse Fire Department, the city of La Crosse and the town of Madary now under burn bans. The Wisconsin DNR says fire danger for La Crosse County is still very high. The city's burn ban includes the use of charcoal grills and recreational fire pits. Other municipalities currently under burn bans include the towns of Shelby, Greenfield, Hamilton and Barry, the village of West Salem and the city and town of Onalaska, as well as the county of Vernon. The La Crosse School Board will ask voters to approve consolidating Emerson and Spence Elementary into a new school and expanding State Road to absorb Hinton Elementary. This comes after a referendum was approved last night. Under the plan, Emerson and Spence would combine into a new school at the Hogan Administrative Center site. State Road would get an addition with a new gym and eight classrooms to absorb Hinch and students. The board has been set on merging Emerson and Spence for weeks now. Last night's meeting focused on potentially adding the State Road and Hinch and consolidation to the referendum. The community knows that we cannot we cannot hold on to all the buildings that we have. We just can't. I would rather ask the community one question, move forward with this answer and proceed forward together rather than to do one question and then, oh, by the way, oh, by the way. Initial data shows the net property tax impact will be $44 for every 100,000 of property value. Board members say if this referendum passes, the district will be done with consolidating classes at all three levels. A new water taxi service is helping bridge the gap between Wisconsin and Iowa after the closure of the Black Hawk Bridge. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall shows us how it's making waves in the community. Residents in DeSoto tell me getting to and from Iowa has been tough. They say the closure of the Black Hawk Bridge has increased travel times. They're hoping the water taxi will bring relief. It's an old-fashioned technology that's bringing relief to residents facing a modern problem, a water taxi making multiple trips per day across the Mississippi. Thomas Thor is among the first to give it a try. Hopefully we can get across and get our groceries and stuff, whatever we need, and get back over again. Robert Vavra is one of the captains. For 18 years, he's operated his taxi across the Mississippi between Marquette and Prairie du Chien. He says he's moved his operation north to help folks landlocked by the out-of-service bridge. There isn't any of these boats left, and especially one that get under that bridge, shallow drafting enough to get into the backwaters, but still has 49 passengers available. And this is a United States Coast Guard passenger vessel. Bavara says the water taxi is more critical for people in Wisconsin than Iowa. For a lot of the people on the Wisconsin side, 
there isn't a supermarket for a long ways. Not to everyone is boarding the water taxi yet. Lynn David plans to wait a while. Well, it's a little chilly to be out there, and I want to, you know, see how things go. Money for the service comes from the Federal Highway Administration Emergency Repair Program. Rides are free and will continue until repairs are complete. The water taxi will run seven days a week from 7 to 11 a.m., 11 to 1 p.m., and 3 to 6 p.m. The captain tells me he plans to take people back and forth until the Black Hawk Bridge reopens. On the river, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now. To access the water taxi, you'll need to take a shuttle to the Lansing Marina or Big Slough Landing. The shuttle will go to and from Lansing City Hall and Key High School. It will also run to and from the DeSoto Community Center. The time now is 6.09. Still ahead on your morning news. Gas prices hitting their highest levels so far this year. We'll take a look at prices at the pump and tell you why rising costs aren't necessarily a cause for concern. And Uber and Lyft are releasing new details on how they may halt their Minneapolis operations as soon as May. Coming up, we'll take a look at the rideshare company's new plans and what it could mean for Minnesota residents as well as travelers. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. In Philadelphia, a United States military veteran is receiving the highest honor from the French government. World War II veteran Corporal Benjamin Barry was acknowledged for his courage, honor, and devotion during the war. Barry earned the highest distinction from France, who bestowed him with the French Legion of Honor. His veteran and father started serving in 1943 when he was drafted into a segregated U.S. Army. During that time, black soldiers were assigned to provide resources to white soldiers. Tuesday's honor was presented by the Consul General of France. Barry joked that he doesn't need any more honors or his head won't fit into his hat. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now This Morning is after the break. Mobile Health Partner offers on-site drug and alcohol testing, saving companies time and money while ensuring a safe, productive, drug-free workplace. We ensure convenient, accurate, and confidential results right at your location. Busy job? Make scheduling easy and contact Mobile Health Partner today. All the Taco Tuesday excitement at Taco John's can really start to mix things up. Just look at these delicious, simmering Tuesdays. And on this taco, Tuesdays are only $1.19. See you on Taco at Tuesday John's. Uh, Taco John's. It's spring bonus season. Time to take control of your spring in a new Ford truck. Get started with exclusive spring bonus offers at your local Northland Ford dealers. Then own the season behind the wheel of your new Ford. Whether you're looking for power or capability, there's a Ford truck waiting for you at your local Northland Ford dealers. Get in the driver's seat today. Get an F-150 XLT with 1.9% financing for 72 months, plus up to 2,000 in total savings, and for a limited time, an extra 1,000 in spring bonus cash. If you're ready for a new kitchen, then you owe it to yourself to visit the board store during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show. This is the design center where our designers put it all together for you. Visit our flooring showroom, see all of the possibilities. Visit our kitchen showroom and see all of the styles that are available to you. Then return here and put in your countertops, put in your fixtures, put in your knobs, and design that kitchen that's just right for you during the Early Bird Home Show, only at the board store. Call or visit soon. You know, in my lifetime, I've been knocked around a few times. No matter how many times you get knocked down, hell, you got to get up off the turf. Back pain, knee pain, you name it, I had it. But when I walked into the Good Feet store and got fitted for arch support, I feel so much better. Very little pain in my back. I feel no pain in my knee. It ain't nothing like it. No matter who you are, whatever position you hold, in some way, we can help somebody. And that's what the Good Feet store does. They help you keep going with life. We know you care. But if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call. Because we care too. Home instead. To us, it's personal. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a 
taste of welcome. Prior to working with Mobile Health Partner, the random drug selecting process was really quite cumbersome. It's not only helped increase our efficiency, but it's really become kind of a one-stop shop. They're able to come out right to our work site, take care of the business that needs to be done, and they're able to go right back to work. Welcome back. A good Tuesday morning to you at 614. Let's check that school cast as you get the little ones ready for their Tuesday. Now, it will be briefly warmer today, but also rather windy. 34 at 7 a.m., 47 by lunchtime. Afternoon highs around 52, uh, but again, those winds will make it feel a bit colder. Our dog or cat walking forecast for today, mix of clouds and sun. Again, uh, breezy as the day progresses. In fact, it's already kind of breezy. And look at this uh, cute shot of Nala. Uh, hoping to walk or maybe play outside for a time uh, with Kelly. And you might want to do that today because many of the next eight days are going to be cold and even some snow chances at times. In fact, that's topping our list of what you need to know after today's windy day, but briefly warmer. Snow likely Thursday night into Friday morning. Now it's early, but early indications are showing anywhere from two to five, maybe six inches of snow, believe it or not, for the region. It's been some time since we've seen anything like that. And then more unsettled weather Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We could see some more accumulating snow on Sunday and then kind of a rain snow mix on Monday and Tuesday. Very active stretch of weather setting up for the next uh, seven to 10 days. Just some passing clouds this morning. We'll see kind of a mix of clouds and sun through the day. Current temperatures in the 30 to 30 six degree range and we will see highs in the cross uh, in the lower 50s and mid 50s far south mid to upper 40s for highs far north again a windy day as well i will have the rest of my eight day forecast and more details on that snow in about three and a half minutes in your consumer news this morning why did the chicken cross the road because ai activated the walk sign Based on its ideal crossing time, apparently, the city of Las Vegas is employing artificial intelligence to make street crossings safer and more efficient. AI will detect both vehicular and pedestrian traffic to determine how much time is needed to cross the street. For now, AI-enabled crossings are only coming to the city's downtown Fremont Street corridor. If a wind turbine goes up near your home, you may wonder if that'll impact your home's value. A new study seeking to answer that question. Researchers looked at 300 million home sales and 60,000 wind turbines. They found the answer is homes within five miles of a turbine do tend to drop about 1% in value. Closer homes tend to experience a greater drop. An unwelcome milestone at the gas pump. Gas prices higher now than they've been all year. According to AAA, the national average price for regular gas climbing to $3.47 a gallon. That's up from $3.45 a year ago. It is the first time since December that prices have been up on a year-over-year -year basis. Industry experts say demand usually increases as the weather warms up. Rideshare giant Lyft is releasing new details on how the company plans to hit the brakes in Minneapolis. The company says they will not allow any rides to or from the city starting May 1st. The move comes after the city council voted to give the drivers a raise. Alan Henry has the latest on the rideshare showdown. Whether they were first time visitors. Uh, I'm thankful I was able to get a lift today, so that was good. <laughs> or I leave, yeah. Or returning home from a long work trip. I mean, it's surprising. Uber and Lyft's threats to leave have left some travelers' futures up in the air. While Lyft says it'll stop operations in Minneapolis, Uber says it'll stop in the entire seven county metro, including the airport, meaning signage like this might need to be updated and travelers might need to update their travel plans. I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to get to and from the airport, I'll probably end up having to park my truck here, which will be like almost triple the cost probably. Yeah, you can't be upset that prices go because when a wage goes up and uh, it's one of those things we really kind of should all be working together when that's going on and not just uh, kind of pulling out. We took a look at how much an Uber trip from our offices in downtown Minneapolis would cost at 7 p.m. tonight. A lot of factors, including supply, demand, and even your location can determine that price. But if the only thing that were to change is the per minute and per mile rates laid out in the Minneapolis ordinance, this trip went from costing less than $36 to more than $46. And I think the amount of money that Uber and Lyft are making that uh, 
I think they can afford it. It to me just seems like they're being a little bit greedy. In a statement, the Metropolitan Airports Commission said, quote, we do not expect impacts on rideshare operations or customers at the airport before May 1st. We will continue to monitor the situation to determine any potential impacts beyond that date. Travelers hope a compromise can be reached before then. Sam, I'm all for the drivers in this case. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's half the price of a cab, and it seems like there's some wiggle room there, so hopefully everybody can kind of come together. I mean, it's all across the, the country. People are having minimum wage go up, like even back in South Jersey, and so everybody just kind of has to do their part. Like, you just understand, like, if you go to a restaurant, it's going to be a little bit more expensive now because they're paying that. Uber and Lyft have both said the only way to keep their services in Minneapolis is if state lawmakers pass some sort of compromise during this legislative session. That does it for your morning consumer news. Time now is 619. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at our forecast. Well, Alexandra, as advertised, the last two days colder than average for a change. Uh, we hit 36 on Sunday after that 52 on Saturday, then 39 yesterday. So those were the first two days this month with a below average high temperature. Uh, the rest have been at or above average. Now today's going to be above average, but you know what? Uh, pretty much all of my next eight days other than today will be below average. So it looks like Mother Nature is going to try to make up for some lost time with this winter that wasn't that we've had uh, to this point. Now, currently skies uh, partly to mostly cloudy. Some high and mid-level clouds scooting through. 34 at the airport and downtown. Winds making it feel like 26, though. Uh, Eau Claire, you're at 32 degrees with a wind chill of 25. Winds currently from the southwest at 5 to 15. They will shift to the northwest as a cold front tracks through later this morning. Current temperatures generally between about 30 and 36 degrees, 36 in Winona, 32 in Black River Falls, 30 in Viroqua, and 32 in Prairie du Chien. Uh, there's the winds from the southwest, 5 to 15, gusting to 20. They will shift to the northwest, increase a bit as well, 10 to 20, gusting to 35 miles per hour. In the meantime, uh, it's causing wind chills in the lower to middle 20s in most spots. So just some passing high and mid-level clouds right now. Any snow shower or flurry activity well to our east this morning. Now there's the cold front that's going to uh, shift to the winds to the northwest west and increase them as that moves through later today. Uh, sky tracker showing dry conditions, kind of a mix of clouds and sun for today. Mostly clear tonight and colder again with overnight lows in the teens, wind chill factors in the single digits, believe it or not. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny but cold with highs only around 36 degrees, so much like we saw on Sunday and on Monday. And then eventually clouds thicken as we head into the day on Thursday. That snow you see over the northern plains, that's uh, in advance of a system that will bring some snow around here Thursday night into about the first half of Friday. Now temperatures today lower to middle 50s for highs across the county and points southward. Warmest readings down in the Kickapoo River Valley. Back to the north, a little cooler, low 50s in Mondovi and Osseo over towards Alma Center and mid to upper 40s for highs in parts of Rusk, Chippewa and Clark counties, right around 50 in Eau Claire. So my forecast for today, not as cold but windy, 52 for the high astronomical spring officially arrives at 10.06 this evening. And wouldn't you know it, it's going to be colder tonight. Lows around 19 with wind chills in the single digits. And speaking of, look at all the days in the 30s over the next eight days. Good chance of snow Thursday night into Friday morning. Uh, put on the spot right now, anywhere from 2 to 5, maybe 6 inches of snow from that one. Another good chance of accumulating snow on Sunday. And then kind of a rain-snow mix on Monday and Tuesday. Very unsettled stretch of weather and very wintry stretch of weather. So uh, kind of strange that astronomical spring officially arrives tonight. And looking at that eight day forecast, you'd think we're heading into winter, not spring. Alexandra? Not exactly what we wanted to see for our spring forecast, but I guess we knew it was coming. Time now is 622. Still ahead on your morning news. Spring is here, allegedly, so you know what that means time to do your annual spring cleaning. Coming up, we'll take a look at how the annual tradition may not only help keep your home clean, but it can also improve your health. Coming up in sports, see how the Twins and the Brewers are doing as we close in on opening day. And Anthony Edwards had a dunk last night. You won't want to miss that and more coming up in the Morning Blitz. Hey, lady, when is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're gonna, yeah, okay, well. Washington has become corrupt. Career politicians sell themselves to special interests and end up working for them and not you. I've worked hard, been fortunate, 
I don't need their special interest money, and I won't take it. If you decide to elect me as your next senator, I'll donate my entire salary to a Wisconsin charity every year. I'm Eric Covey. I can't be bought, and I'll put you and our country first. I approve this message. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months on select Sierra 1500 models. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. What I love about T-Mobile is that just about anywhere you go, you're going to have coverage. Where I live is a rural area. The coverage has been awesome. Reliable coverage is super important for me, for my business. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty bagel sandwiches paired with a caramel frappe. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. P B. P B and J. P B before we go. P before we go. P before we go. <laughs> huh. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Welcome to the Morning Blitz. Over the weekend, Wisconsin fell short in the Big Ten Tournament Championship, but now the Badgers are going dancing. Wisconsin earned themselves a five seed in the South region of the NCAA Tournament, where they'll face off with James Madison in the first round. The Badgers entering the tournament playing some of the best basketball they've played all season in the Big Ten run. And, and even though they fell short to Illinois, Coach Guard liked what he saw over the weekend and thinks the team is ready to go. One game at a time, you got to get six. But I like what I saw. We're, we're, we're primed and, and ready to go now. And uh, like I said, you want to be playing your best basketball in March, and we are. And looking forward to these guys getting, getting more opportunities to go show how good they are. James Madison, one of the tougher 12 seeds in the tournament, so no easy task for Wisconsin. Game time set for 8.40 p.m. on Friday night right here on WKBT. If the Badgers get the win, they'll face the winner of Duke in Vermont on Sunday. Also in the South region, the Marquette Golden Eagles earned a two seed while they'll face Western Kentucky in Indianapolis for a 1 p.m. tip. The Golden Eagles looking for some redemption after they earned a two seed last season, but fell in the second round. Timberwolves playing last night, and really this is the only play you need to see. Keep your eye on Anthony Edwards, gets the pass, and oh my, Anthony Edwards with one of the craziest dunks you will ever see. Edwards would hurt his finger on the play, got it dislocated, but popped it back in, went back into the game, and stole the night with this one. Wolves got the win, 114-104. to 104. Spring training, Brewer fans, get used to this. Number two prospect in all of baseball, Jackson Churio, laying down the bunt and beating it out. He's going to be a lot of fun this season. Later in the game, nobody on for Christian Yelich, and he's going to take this pitch high and deep to right field, and that's what we call a no-doubter. Solo shot for Yelly. Brewers take the lead. Fifth inning now, tied at two, but Willie Adamez is going to put a change to that. Suns went out to left. If it's fair, it's gone, and it is. A two-run shot for Adamez. Brewers get the win four to three. Twins also in action against the Red Sox, and if you're a Twins fan, this is what you love to see. Carlos Correa going deep for a solo home run. Hopefully he can keep that going into the regular season. Later in the fifth, now tied at two, but Max Kepler gets one through the infield. One run comes around to score. The throw home, not going to be in time. Twins take a two-run lead. Barry next batter, Ryan Jeffers, wants in on the fun. He sends one out to left center field. That's going to clear the fence for a solo shot. Twins would go on to win 5-2. to two. Opening day is next week. That'll do it for sports. We'll see you tonight. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important, too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. 
I would like to tell you about the man I love, Eric, who is running for the U.S. Senate. A fourth generation Wisconsinite, he graduated from East High and then became a proud Badger. When we met, I knew right away he was a take action guy, a natural leader. He started his first business in his 20s and then built and turned around over a dozen companies, creating thousands of good paying jobs. As busy as he was, our family always came first. Eric has a huge heart. In his 30s, he started the Hovde Foundation, which focuses on homelessness and rescues children from abuse, sex trafficking, and slavery. He loves our country and Wisconsin. He believes in the American dream, and he wants it to be possible for everyone. Above all, Eric is a man of integrity. He is principled, honest, and straightforward. These are the qualities I want in a U.S. Senator to fight for Wisconsin. How about you? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. What's this? Time. Time for what? Time for the Great Vanishing Act. All this must go. What about me? You're the first to go. Hey, I like it here. Really? The end is near. The savings are great on the remaining inventory of patio furniture and accessories. Great deals on gas and wood units. So hurry in for our ongoing retirement sale. American Home, Fireplace and Patio, Highway 16, West Sale. News 8 Now presents Center Stage, powered by Maury's. Now, what we want to talk to everybody about is the Center Stage program. Maury's is proud to partner up and really support nonprofits in our community. A lot of these places don't have a budget to advertise with. So Maury's stepped out and said, we're going to donate this time yeah. and we're going to let the community know. We have seven great stores that are participating, which is all in the Cooley region. So there's a lot of opportunity to help these nonprofits. And we'll see you on the next Center Stage, brought to you by Maury's. Your eyewear should be as individual as you. With Shopco Optical's extensive selection of frames and lenses, our optometrists will learn about you and help you customize the right choice for your lifestyle. Visit Shopco Optical and find your new signature style today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Welcome back. In your morning medical news, your doctor already knows you get too many appointment reminders. You may have noticed lately all sorts of reminders of an upcoming appointment by phone, text, and email. That's because there can be multiple systems in place that help keep the office running, including one for medical records, prescriptions, and online portals. Physicians have a vested interest in minimizing missed appointments because they cost the practice money, but many patients say it's unnecessary. That's why some health providers are working to streamline reminders so you don't miss appointments, but you're also not spammed. Intermittent fasting is supposed to improve health, but a new study ties it to heart disease. The research looks at 20,000 people over a 15-year period. It indicates those who fasted 16 hours a day had a 91% higher risk of dying from heart disease. People with heart conditions or cancer should be especially cautious, according to the lead author, adding what people eat is more important than when we eat. The Washington Post reports the American Heart Association discussed these findings during a meeting yesterday. You've heard of horse therapy and your dog, maybe your cat, too, likely offers you some comfort. But what about cow therapy? A horse riding school in Australia is using cows as animal therapy to help people of all ages. Four participants like Carl McCowan, who was born with cerebral palsy and suffered a brain aneurysm, the experience is transformative. And it does make you think you have to slow down. Um, they don't come up to your speed, you've got to go back to theirs and it does give you a whole new focus. The cow therapy helps participants become more aware of their body language and communication, fostering trust and respect with the animals. While experts say more research is needed, many people report feeling real mental and physical improvements from the unique bovine connection. 
Spring cleaning is a right of the season for many, a time to tidy up and get our homes organized. There is also evidence it could not only improve your home, but also your mental health. Bradley Blackburn explains. This is a bedroom of a four-year-old girl. Sarah Lasanci and Emily Raniger are the organizing duo behind Shelfie, a New York company that's been helping transform spaces for nearly a decade. She can come home from school and hang her backpacks up because it's low enough. They fixed this space for four-year-old Sophia after her mom, Kendra, realized clutter was causing stress for the whole family. It was getting to the point that I was starting to feel just wildly stressed out. Shelfie reworked the master closet and the bathroom too. They've seen how order in a home. I've had a couple of, of people tell me that we saved their marriage. Can have ripple effects for the mind and body. There are also those like huge physical health benefits that I don't think people really think about when they're thinking about like, oh, I need to organize my closet. Now I'm going to sleep better. <laughs> Studies have shown that in general, when women walk into messy environments, their cortisol levels spike. Dr. Daniel Levitin is a neuroscientist who's written about reducing mental clutter. Cortisol uh, also shuts down your libido, your digestive system, and your immune system. He says one key is making physical surroundings work for you. Mental clutter and physical clutter in the environment, and they're certainly related, but Different people relate them more tightly or loosely. This needs to be the place that is a, a place for relaxation and, and just peace. And that's really what it did for us. If you crave order, experts say you can start small. Pick one drawer, pick one little area that you're going to focus on. It could lead to real benefits for your health. Another benefit of spring cleaning, doctors at the Cleveland Clinic say can also help motivate you to tackle other tasks and goals you've been putting off. Plans for the future of the South Community Library property still up in the air this morning. The Holy Trinity Longfellow Neighborhood Association gathered last night to discuss potential redevelopment ideas. The South Community Library closed its doors for good on December 1st. The Economic and Community Development Commission now accepting proposals for the property. They're stipulating that all ideas must generate tax revenue. The deadline for those proposals is April 17th. We want to just be able to talk before there's a vote on ultimately what happens to this property. That's really important. It's always been um, sort of the anchor of our neighborhood. The HTLNA meets every third Monday of the month at 6 p.m. at Faith United Methodist Church. March is, of course, Women's History Month, and within March is a special week dedicated to women in construction. Kirsty Madej sat down with two women who are in the middle of working on a historic project for the Great Plains region. When you build something, you get to see it. It has, you know, at the end, you get to point to something and say, I did that, I built it. Katrina Nyberg is the channel manager for the FM Area Diversion Project and has almost 20 years of experience in the construction industry especially a project like this where it's going to have such a big impact on the community to be able to do something that you know has meaning for a lot of people long term I think that's a that's a pretty cool thing another woman working on the diversion is Tisha Aguilar just something so big that I've never thought that I would be a part of something this big but it's very nice Aguilar was a seamstress before recently changing her career to work side by side with her husband but she was a little nervous to make the switch so I thought they were going to I really look down on me and, you know, they try to bully me or something, but no, they're very, very nice. They, if anything, they try to help out. They're not condescending. They're very nice men. You kind of have this perception in your head of, you know, it's a boys club or, you know, you're going to be uncomfortable or harassed or, you know, things like that. And that's really not the case. It's not tolerated by men or women in the industry anymore. Nyberg has worked her way up to a leadership position where she says she's been able to advocate for other women in the industry. I've seen changes over the last few years. It's becoming more and more common. Um, definitely when I started, it was not very common to see other women uh, in the field, and especially now being in a leadership position, um, often not always a lot of other women in the room in, in some of those meetings. While women make up a small part of the industry, the number of women in construction is growing. Just try it. You'll figure out if you like it or not. Don't be scared. It's it's easy. I totally come out. You'll learn. You'll get the hang of it.
According to the Metro Flood Diversion Authority, 14% of the project's non-federal workforce is made up of women, exceeding the national average of 10.9%. Time now is 6.36. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect for your morning commute. It's a two-hand on the steering wheel day, as you say, Bill. Exactly right. A little breezy this morning, but those winds will really crank up as a cold front sweeps through uh, later this morning and into this afternoon. So just keep that in mind, especially if you drive a high profile vehicle or your trucker. Uh, right now we have just some high and mid level clouds scooting through. All is quiet, nothing falling from those clouds, unlike yesterday when we had some snow flurries scattered about the region. But your drive cast, again, good road conditions through the day, low to mid 30s this morning, afternoon highs in the lower to middle 50s, and then some mid to upper 40s for highs far north. Again, increasing winds through the day as well. Just some passing clouds this morning, but uh, any snow shower or flurry activity well to our east. Current temperatures anywhere from 30 in Viroqua and Decorah to 36 in Winona, 34 in La Crosse, 32 in Eau Claire. And a mix of clouds and sun today. Briefly warmer but windy with a high of 52 degrees. Again, those winds shift to the northwest 10 to 20, gusting to 35. Uh, astronomical spring arrives tonight, but it's going to feel and look more like winter over the next eight days. I'll have my eight day forecast on the other side of the break. But uh, coming up in our buzz report, Taylor Swift. Remember her? You know what? Her concerts are literally earth shaking. That's because one of her uh, Eras Tour concerts have registered tremors in the earth as strong as a small earthquake. We'll tell you what they read on the Richter scale coming up in our Buzz Report in just a few minutes. Mobile Health Partner offers on-site drug and alcohol testing, saving companies time and money while ensuring a safe, productive, drug-free workplace. We ensure convenient, accurate, and confidential results right at your location. Busy job? Make scheduling easy and contact Mobile Health Partner today. Washington has become corrupt. Career politicians sell themselves to special interests and end up working for them and not you. I've worked hard, been fortunate. I don't need their special interest money, and I won't take it. If you decide to elect me as your next senator, I'll donate my entire salary to a Wisconsin charity every year. I'm Eric Covde. I can't be bought, and I'll put you and our country first. I approve this message. Are you looking for a high-paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, and so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work-life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take once daily Jardians. At each day start, as time went on, it was easy to see. I'm lowering my A1C. Jardians works 24 7 in your body to flush out some sugar. And for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease, Jardians can lower the risk of cardiovascular death too. Serious side effects may include ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. You may have increased risk for lower limb loss. Call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of infection in your legs or feet. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Jardians is really swell, the little pill with a big stone. The main purpose of Lions Clubs are to help their community. One of our biggest things is the fireworks that we put on every July. And a second visible project that we do is maintaining our shelter building, the ball field, and playground equipment. The shelter building is over 40 years old, and we're going to replace it. Well, obviously, we need some money for that, so we are selling memorial bricks. Memorial bricks can be purchased by going to our Facebook page. To learn more about the St. Joseph Ridge Lions Club, visit their Facebook page. Prior to working with Mobile Health Partner, the random drug selection process was really quite cumbersome. It's not only helped increase our efficiency, but it's really become kind of a one-stop shop. They're able to come out right to our work site, take care of the business that needs to be done, and they're able to go right back to work.
Hey, welcome back. A good Tuesday morning to 643. Checking the high temperatures this month. Boy, it's been cold the last couple of days, hasn't it? As advertised, uh, we hit 52 on Saturday, but then dropped into 30s for highs yesterday and on Sunday. Those were the first two days this month with below average high temperatures. But you know what? After today, I'm afraid a lot of these uh, latter half of the month days of March, we're going to be coloring blue with below average high temperatures. Wait till you see my eight day forecast uh, coming up in just a moment. Currently skies mostly to partly cloudy, but they're high and mid level clouds. Here's what you need to know. Briefly warmer today, but windy. And look at this. Wouldn't you know astronomical spring starts tonight? Snow likely Thursday night into Friday morning. It's early, but early indications are showing anywhere from two to five, maybe six inches of snow across the region from that one. And then a chance of more accumulating snow on Sunday, maybe a rain snow mix on Monday and Tuesday. Very active stretch of weather uh, looking to shape up over the next seven or eight days. 34 degrees out at the airport and downtown. Winds currently from the southwest at around 10. That's making it feel like 26. 32 in Eau Claire with a wind chill factor of 25. So temperature across the tri-state area. Most spots between about 30 and 36 degrees, including that 34 in La Crosse, 30 in Decorah, 32 in Prairie du Chien. Winds currently from the southwest, but notice up uh, to the north and west here. You can see those winds are shifting, and that's behind a cold front that will sweep through later this morning. Current wind chills in the upper teens to low to mid 20s. Now, just some passing clouds with this frontal boundary, and it will be dry as any snow shower or flurry activity as well to our east this morning. And there's the front, and as it sweeps through, again, it's gonna crank up the winds from the northwest, 10 to 20. Uh, they could gust 30 to 35, even 40 miles per hour in the open areas of uh, southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa. I've expanded Sky Tracker just a bit. Uh, again, just some passing clouds at times today. Mostly clear and colder tonight again, and then cold tomorrow, but plenty of sunshine for our Wednesday. And then heading into the day on Thursday, Notice how clouds are on the increase and uh, some unsettled conditions out to the west here. Not real organized yet, but eventually a system will become organized and throw some snow into the area Thursday night into about the first half of our Friday. Now temperatures today, again, briefly warmer, low to mid 50s in La Crosse and points southward. Warmest readings down towards uh, the Kickapoo and Wisconsin rivers. Lower 50s up to the north and then mid to upper 40s far north. Rusk, Chippewa, Clark counties right around 50 for Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. So for today, not as cold, but windy, 52 for the high. By the way, if you're keeping track at home, astronomical spring arrives at 10.06 tonight. But then it gets cold, breezy and cold, 19 for the low, wind chills in the single digits. And look at all of the days over the next eight with highs only in the 30s. Again, that chance of snow, good chance Thursday night into Friday morning. Again, that's where we could see two to five, maybe six inches of snow. More accumulating snow looking like a good bet on Sunday and then a rain snow mix on Monday and Tuesday. But uh, my goodness, every single one of those days after today, below average for those high temperatures. That's the latest look at my eight day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with our buzz report. NBA stars LeBron James and JJ Redick are talking all things basketball in a new podcast. The show is called Mind the Game. It'll also feature the occasional guest. The duo says they want the podcast to be organic, so as of now, they don't have any corporate partners or sponsors. Mind the Game will drop Tuesday with episodes available on all podcast platforms and YouTube. That's today. YouTube star Mr. Beast has penned a deal with Amazon. For a new reality competition on Prime Video, it's called Beast Games. Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, says the show will feature a $5 million prize and more than 1,000 contestants. According to Donaldson, it will be the largest game show in history and will break many other world records. Mr. Beast is already one of the most popular channels on YouTube with 245 million subscribers. The Black Crows fly again. The Atlanta-based rockers have released their first new studio album since 2009. Happiness Bastards is out now from the band's Silver Arrow Records label featuring the single Wanting and Waiting. Welcome to the Eras Tour. It's official. Taylor Swift concerts are seismic events. Caltech measured the effect of 70,000 fans jumping, screaming, and dancing at the Los Angeles shows where Swift filmed her Eras Tour movie. Researchers calculated the strongest tremor was equivalent to a magnitude 2 earthquake. 
They set up their sensors after reports of a swift concert in Seattle that caused the equivalent of a 2.3 magnitude quake. And there are no birthdays to tell you about on today's Look Who's Eight, but if you are celebrating, happy birthday. And if you know someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we would love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button right there on the Home tab. Time now is 648. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know in five minutes or less. Your morning news now is just after the break. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. College is more than the knowledge you gain. It's a place to cultivate your curiosity. It's where you explore the potential and what's next. It's where you find the tenacity to rise rather than settle for good enough. It's a series of moments that add up to form your future self. It's where what you want is within reach, on your terms. It's where you find a career, not just a job. Western Technical College. Discover what you're made of. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99, plus advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. The camper, it has been a reliable companion for your family's good times. But after years of use, it is showing some wear and tear. A broken window from an errant baseball, a couch that your dog allegedly chewed on, and an AC unit that doesn't work like it should. It's time to call Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. We have been improving your family's camper since 1970. Call us today and we will make your camper feel brand new. Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks, repair, refinish, remarkable. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Starting your morning news now with some breaking news just into the newsroom. Pope Francis announcing early this morning he's accepted lacrosse bishop William Patrick Callahan's retirement request after serving lacrosse area for 14 years. The Pope appointing Bishop Gerard Battersby to succeed Bishop Callahan and serve as the 11th bishop of the Diocese of Lacrosse. Bishop Battersby will be installed as bishop of the Diocese of Lacrosse on May 20th at the Cathedral of St. Joseph the Workman. Bishop Battersby currently an auxiliary bishop in Detroit. Turning now to some things happening today, the man accused of murdering Madeline Kingsbury is set to be back in court. 30-year-old Adam Fravel will appear in Winona County Court for a two-day hearing. He's currently fighting to move his trial out of the county. His attorneys arguing that heavy media coverage of the case will prevent him from getting a fair trial there. He faces two counts of first-degree homicide for the death of Kingsbury, his ex-girlfriend. The 26-year-old went missing last March after dropping the kids she shared with Fravel off at daycare. Her body was found a little over two months later near the town of Mabel, south of Winona. Pleasant Ridge Waldorf School in Viroqua will be closed today after what the school calls a loss in the school community. The closure includes parent-child classes, but the school says eighth grade project presentations will still be held as scheduled. Parts of Wisconsin Highway 35 and the Mississippi River will be closed this morning while crews demolish parts of the decommissioned Genoa coal plant. 
Staff from Dairyland Power Cooperative say they expect the highway to be shut down around 10 o'clock this morning and expect the road will be closed for less than 30 minutes. Parts of the Mississippi River will also be closed while crews demolish parts of the site. Today's scheduled demolition comes more than three years after the fire, or after the coal-fired power plant that is, was retired and decommissioned after providing power to the Cooley region for 52 years. The City of La Crosse is joining the list of municipalities activating burn bans. According to a release by the La Crosse Fire Department, the City of La Crosse and Town of Madary now under burn bans. The Wisconsin DNR says fire danger for La Crosse County is very high. The city's burn ban includes the use of charcoal grills and recreational fire pits. Other municipalities currently under burn bans include the towns of Shelby, Greenfield, Hamilton and Barry, the village of West Salem, and the city and town of Onalaska, as well as Vernon County. The La Crosse School Board will ask voters to approve consolidating Emerson and Spence Elementary into a new school and expanding State Road to absorb Hingen Elementary. This comes after a referendum was approved last night. Under the plan, Emerson and Spence would combine into a new school at the Hogan Administrative Center site. State Road would get an addition with a new gym and eight classrooms to absorb students from Hingen. The board has been set on merging Emerson and Spence for weeks now. Last night's meeting focused on potentially adding the State Road and Hingen consolidation to the referendum. The community knows that we cannot, we cannot hold on to all the buildings that we have. We just can't. I would rather ask the community one question, move forward with this answer, and proceed forward together, rather than to do one question and then, oh, by the way, oh, by the way. Initial data shows the net property tax impact will be $44 for every 100000 of property value. Board members say if this referendum passes, the district will be done with consolidating classes at all three levels. In-person absentee voting is underway in Wisconsin with the presidential primaries for both ballots, with both parties on the ballot. Voters will also decide on two constitutional amendments regarding election administration and local school races like school board, county board, and certain judge seats are up for election. Early voting for the city of La Crosse is available at five locations through March 29th. Temperatures this morning starting in the lower to middle 30s, most spots between 30 and 36 degrees, 32 in Eau Claire, 34 in La Crosse. A mix of clouds and sun, briefly warmer today, but windy. Highs around 52, northwesterly winds 10 to 20, gusting to 35. Then it gets cold again, 30s for highs on several of the next eight days. Good chance of snow Thursday night into Friday morning. And yeah, we could see anywhere from two to five, maybe six inches of snow. Uh, by the time all is uh, wrapping up by Friday afternoon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Bill. The Kansas City Current kicked off its season Saturday by making history. The National Women's Soccer League team is now playing in the world's first sports stadium dedicated to a women's professional sport. Construction on the $117 million stadium started in 2022. The Current was founded in 2020. The team's co-owners include Angie Long, Chris Long and Brittany Mahomes, who is the wife of Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Thank you so much for starting your morning with us. We will see you back here at noon. Have a great day.